Good afternoon. A collapsed northeast based building firm owed a bank more than £100 million. Stuart Milne Homes was placed into administration last month with hundreds of job losses. In a statement at the time, Stuart Milne said the firm was given no option when the bank withdrew its funding. Newly released figures show the Bank of Scotland will owe nearly £108 million at the time of administration. Tomorrow marks two years since the start of the conflict in Ukraine, but now changes to the visa system announced this week mean that Ukrainians who fled to Scotland do not know how long they'll be able to stay. All 100,000 displaced Ukrainians cannot apply for extension until January next year. Marina has found work here, but she wants to return home if it is ever safe to do so. We saw the explosions, uh, we saw the fire around our house, not close, but uh, several kilometers, four or three kilometers from our house. There was missiles and bombs and explosions. The people here are wonderful, they're so supporting. Uh, but uh, speaking about Ukrainians uh, stay in Ukraine, their life is not so good as we want uh, because they still bombed, they still die every night, every night. From today, XL Bully Dog owners must ensure their dogs are muzzled and on a lead in public. It's also now an offence to sell, abandon, give away or breed XL Bully Dogs in Scotland. Anyone breaking the rules could face up to six months in prison and a fine of up to £5,000. Staff at the University of Aberdeen have announced a series of strike dates over job losses. The UCU union is planning the action over cuts in the Modern Languages Department, putting up to 30 posts at risk. Staff will walk out for six days beginning on the 12th of next month. Aberdeen University say savings could be made through voluntary departures. A Japanese company's plans for subsea cable production have promised to create 330 jobs. Most of the posts would be in the Highlands as part of £350 million plans by Sumitomo Electric. Taxpayers will pay almost £25 million towards the cost of a factory close to the port of Nig. There's going to be significant numbers of jobs in the factory itself, also in the supply chain, the companies which will work alongside the factory, obviously in things like transport, um, and huge number of construction jobs as well, because this is going to be probably the largest factory that we've seen in the Highlands. Now here's Philip with the weather forecast. An icy start to the day will give way to a series of oohs and ahs. TUI sponsors STV Weather. Hello and a very good afternoon to you. For the rest of today, we continue to see frequent showers across the north and the northwest highlands. Some of these will be quite wintry on higher ground. Away from that, though, always drier and brighter across eastern areas. But it will be feeling chilly today. Temperatures reaching highs of around 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. Now, as we head through this evening and overnight, a lot of those showers across western parts will merge together into some longer spells of rain. Under the heaviest downpours, could see a mixture of some hail. Away from that, though, Lengthy spells of dry and clear conditions leading to a widespread frost and temperatures getting below freezing, minus four. Bye-bye. TUI sponsors STV Weather. That's all for this lunchtime. Andrew will be back at six. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>